The men of the Rawai have been making their living from the sea around Phuket for as long as anyone can remember. Fishing is their main source of income, and as they demonstrate here, they are proficient both above and below the water. But back on shore, trouble is brewing. These Chao Lei, or sea gypsies, are facing eviction from their land, despite the fact they've lived here for generations. They don't have title deeds. When the deeds were handed out, they knew nothing about them or what they meant, and now the land is owned by a developer. They want to use the court to kick us out of here. It looks like they'll build some apartments because the land here is beautiful and it's right on the beach. Seventy-eight-year-old Nang Midden has lived here his whole life. His parents and their parents called this area of Phuket home long before it was one of the most popular tourist destinations in Thailand. Nang's family is one of at least seven facing eviction. After a court ruled the land he lives on does not belong to him. I want to stay here. I don't want to go anywhere. I want them to help us. I lived here first. I was already living here when the title deed was issued. I have lived here since it was a jungle. Back then I had a small house. The families have launched an appeal, a process that could take several years. The government has told the Ministry of Justice to look into the sea gypsies' complaints to see if there's a way of resolving their eviction. Experts insist the communities linked to the sea cannot be overestimated. Many of the Chao Lei say they can't sleep unless they can hear the breaking waves. They live on the sea, from the sea, off the sea, and they develop this spiritual attachment to the sea since childhood. You see that, you know, the children, they play uh, in the water, you know, uh, all days. And uh, the parents, the older generations, they fish from the sea. Even the ritual of the ceremony also signifies the importance of the sea. As more and more tourist resorts open along the coast, the battle for land looks set to intensify, leaving Thailand's Chao Lei at risk of being left without a place by the sea to call home.